I've used Windows on my Steam Deck for six months now. While this isn't a video about specifically my personal experience, but just to give you an indicator of where I'm coming from, like how much experience I've had so far with Windows on my Steam Deck, and whether or not you should install it on your Steam Deck as well. And whether or not you should or shouldn't is hyper dependent on the kinds of games you play. The main reason and only reason why I installed Windows on my Steam Deck was just so I can play games that aren't available on SteamOS. Games like Call of Duty, Destiny 2, I would come to mind immediately. Those are games I play constantly and run phenomenally well on the Steam Deck, but you can't simply play those games on Steam Deck. I don't know the specifics with why Call of Duty doesn't work, but I do know it has something to do with the anti-cheat while specifically for Destiny 2, I know the anti-cheat that it, Destiny 2 uses flags all Linux as potential vectors for cheaters. So it just blanket stops you from booting the game. Strictly speaking, you do like load in the game, but then it just gives you an error. But you get what I'm saying. You can do so many other things on your Steam Deck when it has Windows installed on it. And yes, there are Linux alternatives for a lot of these programs that I'm about to mention but they're all just not quite as good as the real deal. Personally, I edit in DaVinci Resolve and I use Photoshop to make all my thumbnails. I can't use those on Linux. There are alternatives you can download that I made a video talking about before, stuff like Kden Live and other photo editing applications that you can get on Linux. Those options just weren't as good as what I was used to. And granted, it could be some just bias in my preference for those programs, but they just offered more features. It ran better. Overall, it was much better to use, and editing took a lot less time when I was on Windows versus SteamOS. I did a video talking about using the Steam Deck as my only computer for a whole week. That includes using SteamOS, and it was a bit of a slog. It wasn't bad, and you can most certainly do it, but there were just kind of some annoyances with overall just using Linux. When switching to Windows, you have access to all of the programs and software that you're used to. And when using my Steam Deck as a normal computer when it's docked and just connected to an external monitor, it feels like a real computer. It's quick, it's snappy, everything loads really quick. It's an amazing experience. It doesn't feel like I'm using a Steam Deck or like a laptop or something just plugged into an external display. It felt like a real computer. And being able to also play games at the same time, it didn't feel like a proper gaming PC. I've been planning on making a video comparing the Steam Deck to an equivalently priced gaming laptop. While that isn't coming out for a long time, the Steam Deck can be kind of used as a laptop. I have a small membrane, you know, portable keyboard, it's Bluetooth, and a Bluetooth mouse that can pair both of them to the Steam Deck, and I can use the Steam Deck screen, and it'll just a small kickstand or some whatever I have to keep the Steam Deck from falling over, and I can properly use it as a laptop. I was at my father's house, and I was there for the weekend, and I had to get some work done, It's because, you know, I upload on Monday, so I was working and writing on videos over the weekend and it was not a terrible experience. Sure, the screen was small, but that actually can be alleviated by using a program that I have on my iPad called Easy Canvas, which allows you to use your iPad as a wireless Wi-Fi display. Doing so allowed me to have a second display, though my iPad isn't substantially larger of a screen in comparison to my Steam Deck, it is at least three inches bigger, so it's a 10 inch iPad, versus the seven inch Steam Deck. It just gave me a little bit more space and being able to just throw a YouTube video on the Steam Deck screen while doing work on the iPad screen was pretty darn convenient. If you had one of the like iPad Pros, like the 13 inch screen, it would be a, basically a laptop. I was even able to use the Apple Pencil in Windows to create my thumbnail, which that sounds more like about the whole iPad thing, but it's just one of the many things you can do with your Steam Deck when it has Windows installed. I'll be the first one to admit, it's not a perfect experience, and it's not the easiest thing to set up completely. It takes a little bit of time and a little bit of know-how 
to get it all working correctly. But the community has come so far in the development of tools that help you. Things like Handheld Companion, which is amazing for helping you set up, you know, controller support for games that don't necessarily support the internal controls or games that get a little weird with it. It just helps in smooths out the whole process. You can even have in Handheld Companion, the Steam Deck controls be emulated to other consoles. I have mine set to emulate Xbox 360 controllers for when I'm playing emulators just because the button mappings make more sense that way and all these emulating softwares expect to use X input, which the Steam Deck technically does, but it doesn't show up that way in certain programs. It shows up as a Steam controller sometimes. It's weird. It's really up to the emulator how they decide to react to and how to deal with the pre-built controller in the Steam Deck. It's a really weird situation, but Handheld Companion can fix stuff like that. One of the major benefits the Steam Deck had when it was in SteamOS was emulation. Things like EmuDeck simplify the experience dramatically. But recently, EmuDeck made its way to Windows. You're able to use it on the RG Ally, the Steam Deck, and things like the Legion Go fairly easily. I've used it on my desktop PC. It was a little janky, but it worked. It simplified the emulation experience and auto-installing all the emulators for me. It was great. So one of the major benefits the Steam Deck had in SteamOS just got moved to Windows anyways. But you do lose some things when you switch to Windows. You lose that console-like experience, being able to sleep your device and wake it back up and resume exactly what you're doing. That whole thing just simply doesn't work or play nicely because of Windows. Sleeping your device means you're having to turn it back on, type in your password, and it's really up in the air whether or not when you load back into Windows, your game will either still be open, crashed, or have closed. Except for Minecraft, Minecraft seems to be okay with that whole thing, and for once, Minecraft is not a broken mess. Another downside with Windows is, in my experience, terrible battery management. It's not substantially worse battery, but overall, it does drain more battery and you do, you know, lose a little bit of performance due to having so many background tasks, just general Windows nonsense. And there are ways to mitigate that. There's things like Tiny Windows 11 and a Windows 11 Ameliorated Edition. All those things are designed to simplify and clean out all the bloat and the background nonsense in Windows. But for me personally, those took way too much effort to set up or simply just didn't care enough to look, look into it more and then just decided to go with what I was used to, standard Windows 11 installation. But overall, the Steam Deck does offer an amazing experience, though there are some caveats. But there just isn't a perfect solution for everything. With SteamOS, it does offer amazing sets of usable features. The ease of use is beyond compare when compared to Windows, and overall is a much better user experience than using Windows on the Steam Deck is. But the problems I talk about with the Steam Deck using Windows aren't unique to specifically the Steam Deck. A lot of things like the RG Ally, the Legion Go, even future handles that would come out will suffer the same issues. It's all because of Windows' inability to be used properly on these handhelds. And it's really up to Microsoft to make a version of Windows that does run well, or add features to Windows to accommodate these handhelds, which is now a burgeoning market. And there's also always dual booting. I made a whole video talking about whether or not you should dual boot your Steam Deck, which is a process that is very complicated and really annoying, and I hate it. And after that video, I switched to just having two separate SSDs that I just swap in and out whenever I'm feeling like I'm a SteamOS mode. I'll pop that in, pop the back plate off of the Steam Deck and throw that SSD in. And then when I want to go back to Windows, I'll just switch the SSDs back. It's not that hard. It's like nine screws. But to answer the question at the top of the video, should you install Windows on your Steam Deck? I say yeah, it's an amazing experience, even with those caveats. And if you just want to tinker around and give it a shot, go for it. It can be really cool. And some people might benefit a lot from the comforts and usability upgrades that Windows does offer, especially for people who use the Steam Deck as their only computer. They might find a great deal of just 
extra usability with the Steam Deck as their primary computer in Windows that they would in SteamOS. Though if you're new to gaming and you just want to experience gaming and all that's all you want to do, just stick to SteamOS. You don't need to switch to Windows for that. And you might want to play other games and there might be other workarounds, but overall, if you just want a simple gaming experience, SteamOS still is the best option. But if you want to take full advantage of your Steam Deck and be able to do literally anything you'd want that you could do on a normal computer, I would choose Windows. I would love to hear what you guys think about this down below. Do you want to use Windows on your Steam Deck? Are you interested in using Windows on your Steam Deck? If you have been using Windows on your Steam Deck, how long have you been using it? I would love to hear what you guys think of down below. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. All the other social media coverage down below. And last but not least, have a wonderful day.